Appointment is the time for you to be used by him. See, he gets glory while you're on assignment. See, and then when you have your downtime, you get somewhere in discretion. Okay, y'all don't understand that word. Y'all don't know. Go look it up. Go look it up. In fact, Google it right now. Find out what it means. Because there's a whole lot of people in church that need to understand what discretion is. That You see, everybody don't need to know what your issue is. Everybody don't need to know what your challenge is. We all sitting up in here trying to make it. So let's not look at each other like we don't have no reason to find a place and be discreet. Everything is exposed. Everybody knows everything. And that's why you're not effective. Because we see too much of your real side and not enough of your ministry side. And when God called you to me, he called you to me. He called your gift to me. Not your body to me. Not your appetite to me. Not your fetishes to me. I should know what you like. I should know what he gave you. See, what he gave you is the only deposit for me, not what you like. You may be seen. Let me let me move further. So this this is this is this is the challenge. This is the challenge because really, mother, really, you know, the 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 challenge of Samson and uh, let me get in trouble and I'm gonna get out of trouble and then I'm gonna close this. Uh, uh, the the challenge with Samson is that many of you have have reduced his strength to his hair. And that's your issue. Your, your issue is that you thought whatever power he had, he had because of his hair. And uh, uh, we, we need to explore the scriptures because you will discover that it has very little to do with his hair. Uh, but his strength was because of his relationship with God. Uh, mm, mm. Uh, uh, and the relationship uh, of his parents to God. God made a promise to Samson's mother that I'm going to give you this Nazarite He's, he, and you got to raise him as such. And But watch this, Bishop. The, the symbol of this relationship is the condition. The condition is his hair. But the, the, the root is his relationship. Okay, let me see this again. The condition of his strength is his hair, but the root of his strength or the explanation of his strength is the relationship with God. And the appointment, watch this, to purpose. See, your strength is attached to your purpose. As long as you're in your purpose, you'll always have strength. Come on here. That's why the enemy is, has been doing everything he can to remove us from purpose. The only time you get weak is when you're outside. Y'all ain't, okay, y'all, 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 ain't caught it yet, y'all ain't caught it, they sleeping, Bishop, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I might not have been the right preacher for Sunday morning, touch your neighbor, tell your neighbor, that's the only time I start getting weak, the only time I start getting weak is when I get outside of purpose, Let, let's be honest, let's be honest, you, this is the drummer, right, you're the drummer, you're the drummer, now, you can be sick, you, you can be afflicted in your body, and, and so weak, until you say, I, I, I need to just stay home because I'm, I'm, I'm out of it. I'm out of it. But the moment they get you behind a set of drums, it is almost as if what happened to him? Because your sickness has got to subside to your purpose. When you show up in your purpose, you become strong again. <laughs> you, you've never understood. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, that's exactly why I'm a danger to the devil's kingdom. Because every time I get to the house of God and I go to opening up my mouth, I feel like I can run through troops and leap over walls because my purpose keeps me strong. Ain't got nothing to do, ain't got nothing to do, or very little to do with my hair. My hair is the symbol of my strength. He says, I'm gonna make him strong, but if you check the text, it says, I'm gonna make him strong, but don't let a razor come to his hair. His hair will be the symbol of his strength. It will not be his strength. It will be the symbol of his strength. It will not be his strength. 
it will be the symbol of his strength. But no matter how anointed Samson was, Samson had appetites. Samson had appetite. You maybe see, this is the last time. Because the, the people around you don't like that you're getting up with this word. Because they want to know why they brought him in here. I'm talking about Samson and Delilah. And that's because they don't want to give me a few more minutes to help them to understand that God has strategically hidden you. He has, he has strategically hidden you. And, and let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because Samson had an appetite. Samson, Samson had something he desired that he shouldn't have desired. Uh, you want to know what that is? Philistinian women. Philistinian women. That was his weakness. That oh, that's his kryptonite. That is something that that he's saying, listen, I I know that the Philistines now there's only about 50 people that's gonna catch this. And if 50 people catch it, I'm good and I can close. He says, he says, I know the Philistines are my enemies. But I'm attracted. I wonder if they really, I wonder if they really want me to preach. How is it, how is it that you can be so anointed of God? How is it that you can be so called of God, yet attracted to what has been designed to destroy you? You know that's your enemy, yet there's an attraction. Preach! I'm, I'm, I'm attracted to what has been given orders to kill me. 